Hi, everybody. It's Pat Love from EXP Realty. I'm here today with Mary Beth Welty. Now, the name of her company is kind of a mouthful, so I'm going to read it off the page. <laughs> She's the owner of Sustainable Lifestyle Solutions. Now, when I was looking at Mary Beth's business and her website, I was blown away by the number of things she does. So I'd like to start out with, could you please describe your business and tell us what you do. Yes, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Um, Sustainable Lifestyle Solutions is all about helping women live more healthfully and safely. So this can be in your home. It can be what your home looks like. It can be what you have in your home, what you want to do with your home. And it can also be about your lifestyle the way you're living or what you want to accomplish in your life and then also about your wellness so helping people live sustainably both all in their home in their life and throughout their wellness wow wow you cover everything every facet i love it so what surprised you most about owning a business um let's see here probably the never ending uh trial and error that you have to do endless trial and error and how much resilience you must have throughout all of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's always, a, it's a constant adaptation in life, even in business, adapt, adapt, adapt. So this is such a unique business. So and a I, lot think, of I think that, um, your customers must have some good stories to share. And have they, have they told you what they like most about your business? Yes. Um, there's a huge attention to detail and personalization. So when I first meet with people, when I do a consultation with them, I'm really trying to understand who they are, what they do, and what, what makes them happy and what makes them upset you know, what makes them unhappy. And we want to focus on having that happiness be the focus and be able to incorporate as much into their life as they want to, that will give them that excitement and uh, make them feel like they are um, living as fully as they can. Mm -hmm. And so they're, so they're at peace and they're happy. So that's what they love at the end of the day. Oh, absolutely. You know, the fact that everything is tailored to the client. So each person is different. Each home is different. Each person's hobbies and interests, each person's living situation is different. Mm -hmm. So taking into consideration each unique person and who they are, what they want to do, how they're living right now, how they would like to have their life be and then creating a plan to get us there. It's, it's unique for every single person. And so the clients really do appreciate that because I don't come in and just say, here's my set plan, this is what we're doing. In general, there's a little bit of a framework, but it's different for each person depending on what they need. If they need to help, have more help with, for example, their mental health and getting, getting over things or letting things go and improving their mindset, then we work with that first and then going into their home and then going into things that they wanna do with their life and how they're planning their time and surrounding themselves with the people that support that. So it just really depends on the goal of the person and what they want to see and do with everything. Well, that sounds, that sounds great. That sounds wonderful. So if a young person just starting out came to you for advice, what, what sort of advice would you give them? I'm sorry, you cut out a little bit. What was that? If a young person came to you for advice when they're just starting out, say in business, what sort of advice would you give them? Join a networking group. 
<laughs> yeah, we both can agree with that. I totally agree with you that. <laughs> and and just, you know, surround yourself with positive support. You know, that surround is. yourself with as much positive support as you can. And that includes the people that you hang out with, your friends, your family, the people that you surround yourself with. Um, and of course, um, join as many networking groups, but also accountability groups or coaching groups, whatever it might be to be able to keep you on track, to be able to ask questions and get help when you need it. Because, you know, just like I was saying with my work, there is a little bit of a framework for starting a business <laughs> and progressing through it, but a lot of it is just what do I do now? Mm -hmm, <laughs> so, mm -hmm. And if you, you know, have all those, kind of, mm -hmm. if you have those people around you, there's always someone, a sounding board. And exactly. that, that is a, a huge part of the networking groups I've been in. So we, who has a problem and the, how, how can we help you solve it? And that's very good advice. So as you know, this is a, a community website for the North Shore of Vancouver, and I know that you don't live on the North Shore, but a lot of people come here. So could you share maybe what you like about uh, my community? Absolutely. Uh, no, I don't live in the North Shore, on the North Shore, but I live right across Lionsgate Bridge, literally. So I could walk over to North or West Van in about 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and so I love... Oh my gosh, there's so much about the North Shore that I love. If I moved anywhere outside of where I'm at, I'd probably move to uh, West Van or North Van, different areas. In West Van, I, I love Ambleside mm -hmm. and the beach there. I love the little lagoon that's there, um, spending an afternoon just kind of browsing or you know wandering around the beach and then the shops and stuff along Ambleside side and it's attached to park royal so you can do all kinds of shopping there too which is really nice and um there's some really beautiful places in north van as well that i really like i love the lynn valley area um and of course there's places like deep cove or in uh i love kate's park in north van as well along the water Mm -hmm. and uh, White Cliff Park in West Van and Lighthouse Park is a big favorite of mine just to go by myself even and connect with the trees, connect with the plants and everything and just have that break. It's close enough to get to from the city, but it's still secluded enough that you feel like you're away. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. And that's making me think it's about time I... I go go to a few of those places again. When you just uh, when you're when you're working and you're living, you don't think about uh, taking care of your like you said your mental health and taking time to yourself and connecting with nature. I I I've, all the number of interviews I've done, everyone says you know about North the North Shore about how close to nature you are and how close to the ocean you are. And then I start to think, boy, I take it for granted. You know, it's there. But do I go and take advantage of it? And not very often. And when I do, I think I should do this more. But life gets in the way. And that's good advice to, to everybody is, you know, take time for yourself and take care of yourself and call Mary Beth Welty because it looks like she can make your life more peaceful. That's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. Well, I thank you for taking the time out of your day today, Mary Beth, and sharing about your business. I'm uh, excited to learn more. And uh, maybe one day when we're allowed to meet in person, we'll see each other at a networking event of some sort. I hope so. That'd be fantastic. Okay. 